Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Low Tech Health. Let ourselves translate expert knowledge. I'm your host, Brad Burns, and today is Wasabi Walnut What's Hard in My Tummy Wednesday. And it's time this week. So today we're going to take a time out. <sighs> how you learn a lesson and how one perceives the idea of learning a lesson determines how they're going to have how how good a time they're going to have in a stressful event this is a little theory of mine if you're thinking of learning a lesson as getting beat up getting learnt like a lesson then you're probably going to have a bad time but if you're seeing it as learning a lesson as in profound knowledge that you'll gain and change your whole life from here on out from this lesson then you are in a much better state of mind to learn that lesson so what is this lesson today we're going to be learning on what's up walnut what's hurting my tummy wednesday well we've already learned fats are important we were lied to about cholesterol levels you like cholesterol you want to keep your bags of fluid in those bags which is protein and the whole outside is protein big molecules like glue and then a phospholipid which is fat a phospholipid bilayer which if you're not eating cholesterol you're on statins not do anything to boost the HDL you're kind of turning yourself into one big bag of water bag of fluid rather than a bunch of bag of bags of fluid so on this nighttime episode of Low Tech Health, of Wasabi Walnut, What's Hurting My Tummy, Wednesday, time out. What can you do in your routine to keep a schedule? You can eat well. You can continue to eat a healthy, balanced diet. <laughs> continue to. You can start. And really... That can be from the intermittent fasting, that can be from eating less processed foods. Take one of those as a win. Take every little opportunity that you've used to better yourself as a win in this dire time. And let's take a time out. Oh, if one never takes time, how can one ever have time? We're always running around, place to place, forced to take time. We won't know what exactly to do with it. And that's what's happening right now. We're all seeing where our idle hands take us. So remember to be nice to yourself. Take that time out. And uh, this is my last night off before going back into work tomorrow. I'll see you guys on Friday. Forgive my foul mouth Friday and probably have some more news about this whole situation as far as which drugs are seeming to work to help. It's it, it, it kind of palls in comparison to understand that and maybe I'm using that wrong, but immunocompromised people will get hit the hardest by this virus, but we're giving an immunosuppressant to help combat the virus. It makes sense if you look at the acute respiratory distress syndrome that occurs from a massive inflammation response, inflammatory response from your immune system. You want to mute that, but you also don't want the other immunoglobulins in your system that aren't responsible for inflammation and attacking inflammation to be muted as well. You don't want them cut out. So don't look to any mystery magic cure. Remember, we're having to hit the reset button on life and taking a timeout is important. When you take a timeout, as a kid, you're in trouble. Here, we're avoiding trouble. And really, that's why you were put in timeout as a kid, is so you would avoid more trouble. Because if you know it or not, parents are human, surprise, and they really don't like showing you dark sides. They'll do their best to avoid it. Even if they gave you a five head, They'll try to keep you from seeing the dark side of life. So timeouts are just as much for the parents as they are for the kids. And in this moment, we're all putting ourselves in timeout. 
robbing the parent and the kid. So obey. Stick your nose in the corner. Keep the mask and the goggles and all the accoutrement protecting you on when you're out in public. Try to distance yourself. We're crushing the curve here in this part of the country, which is fantastic because New York has got more cases than any country in the world. Just New York. It's more cases than any country in the world. So please stay safe, y'all. I love you. Take deep breaths. And I'll see you in two days.